Hey, BG Radio here with This War of Mind, a war survival simulator where rather than being the hero on the front lines shooting up things in first person, you're a civilian just trying to survive with what little you've got. Um, it's by 11-Bit Studios. I believe there's a charity involved down here, this war child on the bottom left. Check them out. And uh, I'm going to try to survive for 30 minutes. So... Survival starts now. I've never played this before. I've tried to watch a little bit of it, but it's a long time ago. I don't have any recollection of what I'm doing. It's day one. Fuck the war. I'm glad to know that that piece of uh, a piece of wall will be joining me through this adventure. I hope there's a little bit of a tutorial here because I see, what, three people? And I don't know how to control them. Oh, you walked right by him and sat in that chair, okay. How long has this siege lasted? It's hard to say when every day is a struggle for survival. The city is crawling with snipers, shelling his ordinary business almost every night. Phones don't work. Oh, my internet. There's a shortage of food and meds, and many people are left homeless. Bruno and Marco have always been good friends, so when the war broke out, they decided to stick together. They met Avle while scavenging for supplies. He used to be Pierogian's star football player. Oregrins? <laughs> I have no idea. Now he's just another ha uh, homeless victim of war, so they teamed up, hoping for the best. Uh, he's slightly sick. With proper tools, we could build the stuff we need. All right, so it's day one. It's like six in the morning. Uh, I set it to be Fahrenheit instead of Celsius because I'm an American pleb. Uh, here's our things. Um, maybe nothing. <laughs> our shelter is one depressingly ugly ruin. We should do something about that. We have one chair. We lack beds. Have to sleep on the floor. Hard, cold, concrete. The condition of those who are sick or wounded may drastically worsen. We don't have a radio. We don't know what's going on in the city. We, we really miss books. A good book will help us forget the horrors. We lack cigarettes. We will forever lack cigarettes. No, I, if it makes us happy, I guess I'll go for it. Um, so here's, here's, here's Pav. He's slightly sick. Bruno is a good cook. And Marco is slightly um, wounded, but he's a skilled sa scavenger. Um... I don't really know what I'm doing here. It's a simple workshop, so I can make beds, but I don't think I have the components. So maybe I should send him to scavenge for something? Let's see if there's anything useful here. Well, so this looks like I could force the lock if I only had tools. The door is locked. Okay, that's no good. Um, at least it's warm. How about you stand up? And uh, I guess he's gonna break this door. So I want to search for supplies at night. How about you do it? All right, so I've unbarricaded the door. Is this telling me? Uh, this look is telling me about stuff that I could have, but I don't. <laughs> Excuse me. So that's fantastic. Um, you're standing there. What does this do? Let's find out. I'm not really good at balancing multiple characters. It's an, I could have an improved workshop. Um, there's no way this guy is stuck in this room, right? All right, so he just walks. Um, a few improvements would make this livable. We're lucky it's not too cold in here. Let's see, I'll send him up there. Oh. I think I should just grab everything. Yeah. Wait, do you really have to go down? What the heck's he doing? Oh, uh, maybe I clicked the wrong place. I want him to go up here. I click a dude. I can click a dude to make him do stuff. Nothing in the refrigerator. How about you go check up there? Uh, you can check inside of this. Kind of zoom out, get a big picture here. Um, more herbs. These are parts. Clean water. And electric parts. I just really want to get a sense of what all was I grabbing every time I grab something. So... He found some components. A 
bunch of components, that's more water, and then that's wood. Cool. So I guess at some point I'll figure out what to do with this stuff. Oh, more components, more wood. So you need to go upstairs. I don't know what to do with that. I'm gonna send you to do the same thing, really. I hope we can manage here, keep warm herbs. So it looks like the start, the first thing you wanna do if you decide to play this after watching me do it, first thing you want to do is just scavenge this house like crazy, because apparently they just walk in there, sit in a chair, and think they're done with everything. Ah, oh, this door is locked! Alright, then you go over here. I could really use a shovel. I bet you could. The rebel's blocking the way. Oh, can, can they team up? I didn't even think about that. Can I have him uh, help with this? No, only one person can do this at a time. Is this door open? No, he said it was locked. Okay. Oh boy. So, you go back to the bench and see if we can uh, make shovels or... It's 2.30! Oh my god, it's almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon. This is all we've done all day is open doors and dig for stuff. Uh, I can make a bed. I can make a filter. To distill water. Um, that's fuel, metal workshop, crude stove, household items. I can make a radio. It'll take me an hour to make a radio. Maybe I should make a bed. Um, drag and place in an empty location. Just put a bed right by the workshop. Or should I put it somewhere else? Yeah, put it there. I don't know if that door is locked. Like, you don't want to. Can you put a bed in a place that's locked? It seems like that wouldn't make any sense. I think I'm okay. Maybe just place the bed there. I'm not sure what you should be doing. You're like slightly sick. Oh, I, I hear like weird laughing. <laughs> Dude, that guy's like, ha ha ha. So he's gonna go build. How do you make. I wish I could just have him help dig through the shit. Yeah, at least it's 62 degrees. He has a nasty headache. I guess since you're sick, go sit in this chair until I find out something to do with you. Alright, he got through that stuff. It took all day. I could have had him digging through this, I guess. He didn't take him that long to find more herbs, more parts... Uh, just grab everything. No, oh, maybe you can go do that. The store is locked. So they, yeah, they really just kind of drop you into the thick of things, and I don't know if there's a way for me to... Oh, it makes... I could read. <laughs> a metal workshop is pretty good. I think you should do that. Um, maybe just put it right next to... The other thing. I don't know if there's much for you to do up here, so I guess come back downstairs. You're slightly wounded. I can make you recover by lying on the bed. That's nice. I should probably make another bed, because three dudes sleeping in a bed together is likely not going to work in this case, because for one, you can't even use it. Uh, I guess you can sit down. I mean, wait, who are you, by the way? You're a good cook. We don't have a stove. I don't even know if we have food. Can you pause? No. I mean, you can pause, but you can't pause. Oh wait, you don't need to do it. You do it. Um, crowbar, can probably open a few doors before it breaks. Oh, a lockpick, here we go. I can make, let's make two lockpicks. Do I have to have Like, what's a good door? Oh, it's nighttime now. Uh, plan the night. Sounds like stuff's still going on. Um, there's a shelled college. Uh, <laughs> it's not a college, it's a cottage. It got really shelled me. Houses are burning, people are fleeing, so we may find some useful food, meds. Seems like a good idea. There's huge amounts of food here. Lots of meds, huge amounts. Oh, but there's danger. Uh, da, da, da. 
We can sometimes hear shots fired from there. This decrepit squat's pretty far away. Because we're here. I think we should just send... Um, you scavenge. Yeah, you scavenge here. You're slightly sl sick, so you sleep in bed. I don't know if I could have you sleep, too, if you're both sleeping. I mean, do we really have any weapons, though? Oh, wait. You're not the scavenger. Okay, you... S you sleep, you scavenge. You're slightly wounded, but we're gonna send you out anyway. And then you sleep in the bed because you're slightly sick, and maybe you'll get better. We're gonna try for this, see what happens. Oh, I can tell him to bring stuff. That's the guy I'm sending out. Um... Take one of the lock picks. <laughs> Some relatively clean water you'll need it to prepare. Like, does he drink the water though? If I just give him, oops, you don't need that. Um, I'll give him, I'll give him some water. Let's see if that happens. See if that helps. Now scavenge, scavenge with you. Do I have to do any of this? Do I see him do it? Oh, here we go. The house is still burning. Is it safe to go inside? Oh, this is creepy. I have no bullets. All right, some components, some wood. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be me having to do this or can I use W? No. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Wow. Can I actually, I don't think I could take everything. What are these noises? So I can grab a lot of components, a lot of wood. So I can get up to four of these in a stack. Is that, that's a good amount, I think. Um, I don't want to fill up. So, I don't see anything except for this rat or something. I'm going to go ahead and go inside. And we need food. I like the way he just sneak walks here. Can't tell that making noise. Raw food, raw food, vegetables. Take that, take all that. Whoops. What did I just grab? Some sugar? How much sugar can I get in a stack? Ten. Alright, put put this one back. And grab all the water I can get in a stack. I wish there was a way to know. I guess it's ten. See, now I've got, like, almost no space. Is stuff still happening behind me? I really... I don't think so. I think it's just noises. Maybe I put some of the components back. I have two spaces for now. And then I exit. Some herbs and sugar. Uh, crap. I really don't want to drop the food. If I do that, then I'm kind of posing myself. Maybe I put it back. Maybe I don't take anything from here. Run to exit. I didn't realize that terminology before. I'm gonna take this. Oh, I gotta take this too. I'm gonna be full up, and I'm gonna go ahead and... I don't have a shovel. There is a downstairs, though. I need to keep that in mind. Can I get past this fire? Oh, I think that's just a rat. <laughs> Okay, that's just a lot of stuff I already have. I'm going to peek in this room. The door is locked. I can't tell if there's anything worth using in here, though. What if there isn't? I don't want to use my lock pick. I really just don't want to lock pick a door. Oh man, it's like really dark down there. I'll look at everywhere I can go without having to lockpick first. Just more wood. <laughs> Rubble's blocking the way, it'll take a while to pick through it. I don't think it's worth it then. So I'm not gonna use the lockpick there. I'm not gonna dig through any rubble. I'm just gonna go back upstairs. And uh, I think there might be stuff to scavenge inside. I, won't, I just don't know until I go in. Although I, I was peeking through the, the doorknob or, or the keyhole. 
So I'm gonna go inside. I like the style of the game, though. I like the way it looks. What's this? When the flyers dropped on the city, this is a zone of anti-terrorist operation. Persons remaining in the city will be treated as terrorist supporters for your own and your family's safety. Leave Agarin. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, the Leave it immediately. The army guarantees you a safe passage. Not many believed them after the atrocities they had committed. Like dropping flyers. Alright, more components, more wood here. Oops. I took I took something. Oh, I took components. I got a lot of components. At the very least, I think taking the wood is a good idea. Yeah. I think the food is essential, so although it's just one stack, one item in a stack, I don't really want to drop it. Oh crap, jewelry, valuable bartering item. I gotta take that. Oh I gotta take weapon parts. Crap, okay. What am I dropping here? I'll drop the wood to take the jewelry. I feel like I have a lot of components back at base, but I need more wood. So maybe I drop... Like, I don't know what I'm going to do with the sugar, but I don't really want to drop it because I don't have any. I don't want to drop anything food-related. So I'm going to drop the stack of components to take this. And, uh, parts... Mm, I might want parts to drop another stack of components. There's just a lot of components. Electrical parts. Uh, I, mean, I just have to deal without it. Okay. I wonder if you guys. Maybe I could have sent two people to scavenge, though. I can't scavenge during combat. Oh, I see. I didn't realize that. Uh, I guess I'm done here. Run the exit! I imagine if there were people here, that would have been a bigger deal. Marco's back! Marco's back, baby! Is it gonna be the middle of the night or is it gonna put me to daytime? Yeah, it puts me to day two. I survived with no incident. <laughs> Hello, look at all this stuff. The night was calm. Marco has been searching, found a lot of stuff. Yeah. Oh, wait. Who was doing this? He slept poorly and he's hungry. He's hungry. Wait, what about him? What's his status? He's hungry and he's tired. Well, you go sit in the chair, I guess. <laughs> I don't have a stove or anything to help me cook. Let's see his bio. Oh, drag for more. Drag what for more? Okay, so we need a stove. It's a crude stove. Burned some fuel made up of wood, books, and components. It's a heater, which would be nice. I think I'd build the stove, though. I mean, the filter would be nice, but... I can't cook anything. It's gonna take an hour to do that. And then we're gonna put the stove... in the kitchen. Why not? Wait, go back. Did, did it tell me... That, that's what the stove's function is. You can cook a meal. Yeah. Alright. I want to make sure. Alright, you do this. You're hungry and tired. Everyone's pretty hungry, though. I've got some... My stomach is rumbling. We're making the stove! I feel like I should have someone doing something more constructive. Uh, make a shovel somewhere. 
I know you haven't slept in some time. Oh, uh, can I not make a shovel? Crap, I need more components because I made the stove. Alright, so you're awake. You haven't slept at all, so I guess you go up and sleep. Um, what else is worth doing here? Oh, did I tell him to cook? Make some fuel. I must have had the wrong person selected, that's why you got up. What should I make? Oh, we can improve it with a ton of components. Cooked food. Oh, I need two of these. So he's hungry and tired. You're hungry and sick. I can make two? Is this making two meals? I'm guessing this is me making two? Like, what's the difference? There's, there's three people, though. I'll start with this. I just realized I don't have the person who's the good cook making <laughs> the food. That was kind of a mistake. Alright, you take one of these. I like how you couldn't just, like, move out of the way. You didn't move out of the way when you did it. You do the other one. Like they're just like on top of each other, like as eat this food while the other guy sleeps. Alright, so you slept poorly. I don't know. Sit down. <laughs> you will Man, I just don't really know what to do right now. Like I've got all this rubble blocking the way, I don't really want to make them dig through it. But maybe that's what I gotta do? To find out if there's more stuff worth scavenging. If that's the case, you go down here and I guess lock pick. <laughs> I should have one lock pick left. Maybe I have to make more lock picks though. I have one lock pick and it's about to be gone. Whoops. You slightly sti you're slightly sick, so dig through this pile of shit. Just do that, please. Oh, uh, I don't- I actually don't have enough to make anything. I should have made a knife before, you know, I had someone scavenging. But, there was no danger there. So, yeah, I'm just- You're a good cook, right? Go back upstairs. <laughs> I'm not very good at micromanaging here. Alright, he's actually just hungry now, so I guess. You, how much fuel is necessary? One? Then make some fuel. You go back downstairs, because he's going to make you a meal, because he's the better person to do that. Your stomach's rumbling, I know. And then I'm going to have to like, send him to an early bed or something, because... <laughs> He slept poorly. He's grumpy and he's sad and he's upset. Actually, you can stop and just eat now. Hey, I got an achievement. <laughs> I got an achievement for some reason. Oh, I've had enough sleep. He just slept poorly. Oh, okay. That's nice that I can't put him to sleep, I guess. He defies me. I guess you go back and just see if there's anything worth doing. I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, I have n nothing. I've got nothing I can really do except for make fuel, so I guess it's 8 o'clock anyway, so I'm gonna try for. Oh, St. Mary's Church is a. That's a place, but there's a caution advised. Maybe I can trade my, um. 
Looks like I can go back. 39%. That's interesting. Is that how much I've pillaged from that place? I'm gonna go to the church and see what's going on there. And I got this diamond, and maybe I can trade with them. I'm going to send um, send our boy Marco again. You sleep in the bed. Um, I guess you sleep. We have nothing. If someone breaks in and murders us, <laughs> we have no reason, like no way to protect ourselves anyway. So just sleep, I guess. Sleep and die. I think I'm good to go. Uh, I'm not gonna take anything but this diamond with me <laughs> and see what I can get. Cause it doesn't look like I need to use water or anything. I thought maybe he would like get out there and then need to have food and water with him and all I had was water. So when I was a child I would come here with my parents. What is this, sit on the bench? Oh wait no, it's digging back in the background. I'm gonna just grab everything right now. <laughs> Are there people? We're gonna run into other people? Oh, someone's talking down here. I don't know if they're good or not. I thought I would be greeted by people. I'm gonna take a lot of these, but then leave the wood for right now. Like, are they gonna be upset? Oh, there's a dude right here. I'm like still creeping though, I'm like, <laughs> Welcome, we have been robbed recently, so we have little left. Can I talk to you? Oh, he, he just has... That's all he wants to say to me. My flock sleeps beneath the church. Please do not disturb them. Oh, shit. Oh, hello. <laughs> How do I talk to somebody? Oh, wait. Here he comes. Is he, like, mad at me now? So I got this diamond. Welcome to the house of God. We are a peaceful community here. Oh, we got some books. Um, some cigarettes. <laughs> I guess I have to barter. I can barter the stuff I stole from right outside. Some coffee. Some canned food. Some meds. Some tobacco. Some vegetables. And do I want these books? Look at these pictures. These pictures are amazing. Um, what can you give me for that? Um, if I want three books, wait, no, two books, a cigarette. <laughs> Tobacco? We can make expensive. That. You've got to be kidding. Show me more. Okay. If I, yeah. It's very generous of you. So I... I can figure out... I can really game the system here. That's pretty cool. I can find out if... He's willing to... Nope. Throw the vegetables in there. He's like, I'll take your diamond, but... So I can take two cigarettes. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. Steal! <laughs> like, do they get mad if I do this? I like look. Stuff in the background, I mean. Nothing, nothing here. What does this mean? I won't breach this grate without a saw blade. There's a mark on the wall and a few words. Here lies Roxy, the best dog in the world. Like double tap, you, yeah, if you double tap, you go faster. Whoa, it won't open. Oh, hey, I just figured I'd try that. I didn't realize it would work. I still won't open. Nope, it opens. My backpack is not yet full. Only trash and dirt. Like, what is this place? 
just this an extension of the church? Can I like open the door from the uh, inside? Oh crap, there's a dude with a gun. <laughs> I'm gonna close this door. I'm making a lot of noise here. And the dude with the gun might murder me. I just don't really want to deal with that. I have no idea. He like walked through a door and I think he left it open. But yeah, he was down. I don't think I have the means to really tackle this place any further. But hey, it's good to know. I learned a few things. You can close the door you've opened. And um, maybe it's like an apartment complex or something. It's not, I don't think it's the church. That dude had a gun, though. That's all I know. That dude would have shot me. Shot me sideways. Let's climb the ladder together. Am I just gonna wait for him to do it and then I'll continue? Yeah, okay. Like, cue it up. I hope he didn't get me stopped. This place is crawling with these disgusting creatures. That's not a very nice thing to say about the rest of the congregation. Well, Father, thanks for taking my diamond. I am going to take some more of your wood. That's all I can take. And I'm gonna... Peace! Oh, she's upset. Please let it end. Let it end already. I'd be upset, too. I tried to go next door, and there's a bunch of... <laughs> barriers in my way, and a dude with a gun who I didn't think was gonna be nice. I didn't have a gun, so... I didn't want to say hi to him and have him take all my wood that I worked so hard for. <laughs> Tonight I had a really good haul. I wonder if you could send two people together. He's not doing well, he could do with some pills. Oh, I didn't trade for those pills, did I? Oops. He is legitimately sick now. Oopsie dupes. I've made a mistake. Um, you go here. You're hungry and tired. Oh, wait, did you say I think I have a fever? I'm gonna lay in the bed. Is there a way to see, like, a conversation history? <laughs> I miss. Oh, you can just click that and change it back. So, to do this, I need two. Oh, these are just different ways you can do this. Oh! I, I burned through components to do that. I don't want. That was a mistake, the last time I did it. I guess you go sit on the bed. Wait, is he actually getting in bed? I thought he talked about it, but now he's standing there. He slept poorly. I hope I managed to keep... Get back down here, crazy. Crazy pants. Make some food. Like, what is this? Right, what is this again? Sometimes they hurt, hurt, sometimes it's sweet. Sometimes they hurt, sometimes they help. Take them, you silly jerk. Alright, so you can eat. And then get out of the way. And you can eat. He's taking some medicine. I should have had him made another meal. He's sick, but he's on meds. <coughs> you can go sit here. You can walk away. You can go back. Like, juggling these people, I guess if you had more stoves or something, it would be fine. Never enough food, meds, and bandages. He's complaining about not having... Oh, we need more water. Oops, the sick guy doesn't get to eat. We don't have enough water. Maybe, well, maybe that's not true. Is he saying I should rest in bed? Yeah. You're hungry, but go do that. 
I can make some shovels now, though. It can last for a while, maybe. I'll make one shovel. I don't know what I can have you do. Like, this door... I really just don't know. I need you to make... Should've just had you make two shovels. Oh wait, the door is still locked. Damn it. All these doors always locked. I guess go sit in this chair and look pretty. Yeah, you should sleep off the last night. We don't have another... Oh, can I just make another bed? Actually, can I have him make another bed? Go here. Oh, wait, what the heck did I just tell you to do? Whatever you're doing, don't do it. Yeah, you can make another bed. I take a lot of stuff, but... Um... Put it right here. Yeah, make a second bed. Priorities. Oh, there's a bunch of cool stuff in here. Grab it all. And then make more lockpicks. <laughs> I can only make one. Ah, uh, so stressful. I just want to get through this door. He's building a bed. He's asleep. He's recovering the... I don't know if it's because he's in bed, but... You go unlock that door. I think you get more survivors, maybe. I just don't know how that happens. Do people... Hey, hostel's open, because I made a second bed. Is there actually anything else I can do? <laughs> Just walk past each other. You know how it is. You know how it is, Bruno. Now, I can tell him to shovel, I think. Uh, you can't actually make anything. Glad I have this book. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 go back. Okay. You're going to the chair. <laughs> the, the chair. <laughs> Not the electric chair. Now he's got a shovel. Glad I have this book. I'm glad I have this shovel. Look how much faster this goes. Alright, I think I'm gonna try for three nights. I wish I could have made a. I think a crowbar would help with this, though. It's not like it takes that long, anyway. It'd be cool if I could have gotten to the point where I had a weapon. Oh, but this thing's still gonna be locked. Oh, wait. Maybe the lockpick didn't break? I don't know. More food and books! I guess go back downstairs. <laughs> It's 8 o'clock anyway. Alright, one more night. Let's try to do something really fun. Oh, a quiet house. Most of the houses are still inhabited. People are trying to lead normal lives. We've got, got nothing to look for here unless we're willing to steal. Oh. Supermarket. Yeah, everyone's going to go there. The store supplied the whole neighborhood before the ladder turned into a war zone. Under military control, it might be dangerous to do the groceries there. Still, it might be worth a risk if there's should be a lot of goods left. Yeah, I'm kind of... I don't have any... I don't have anything good. Uh, the garage was a decent family business. They still the, live there. They might be willing to trade. A lot of parts. Let's go to a different place. Uh, Marco is tired, but... I can tell them both to sleep in a bed, though. That's nice, so... Same same crew. We're going to the garage. Uh, oh, I see. Yeah, if it, it's got, like, a counter. So I made two shovels for, like, no reason. 
I'm going to take this diamond with me for trading. Um, and a book. <laughs> Get rid of one book. Like, I don't know what book it is. Maybe, maybe it is Twilight. It's New Moon for you. I wonder if the owners are still around. Oh, is this a dead body? I don't know. Maybe it's just a pile of stuff. Thought maybe it was a dead body. If it is, I hope he says something. Like, I just looted a dead body. No, it's just some garbage. No more hiding. We meet in heaven. I don't know what that loud noise was, but... There's a lot to the map here. I can't... Oh, wait. That's stuff moving? There might be someone moving over there. Oh, wow. it's a lot of stuff here. Now, now I know that components are really... I wish there was a way I could just... Oh, I can't just, like, drag the whole stack. I want this... I don't want this wood. Maybe take a little bit more wood. I kind of want to just take all the components. It doesn't leave me with a lot of space, but... Um... <laughs> that little hop! I didn't notice it the first time I was looking over. It's hard to tell if someone's gonna be hostile towards you or not. Oh, like, shit. Hey you, I need meds for my father. Got some? I approach him. I do not have some. Wait, what the heck is this? Oh, it's like hiding. He needs meds for his father. My father's unwell. Do you have medication or bandages? Man, I don't... I don't... Oh, this is his stuff. He's got... Bullets... A filter... Oh, he's got a saw blade. He's probably gonna want a lot of good stuff for that. Um... I'll give you a diamond. What can I give you for this? Uh, what was I running out of back at base? I was running out of water. Some water. No, he doesn't want the lock pick if I do that. Um... Wow. How much water can I get out of him? I can get nine waters out of him. How about eight waters and no filter? <laughs> Wait, how much? How many waters do I have to give up? Get rid of for a filter? Five waters in a filter? Steel. It's a pleasure doing business with you. I guess if it's a hand that looks like this, it's stealing. Wait. Don't try this again. I closed the door. Alright, I'm leaving. Alright. Alright. Okay. He was getting upset. Someone's here. Don't worry, he's gone. I just wanted to talk to your dad. Alright, I'm leaving. I guess this is all I can- I'm tired, I better go to bed. I guess this is all I can really do. That guy got- I mean, I, understandably, he got understandably uppity <laughs> about me trying to walk deeper into his house. And if he had shot me dead or something right there, I, I closed the door. I'm like, I'm sorry, I put the door back the way it was. It made sense in my head. Alright, screw you, I'm gonna take all this wood. And then... Run away! <laughs> uh, let's let's look, take a quick look at the conditions back at base. And, um... An achievement. A bit of indulgence. I don't really... Because I got some cigarettes? Wait, I don't... I'm not sure what that achievement's about. I found pl uh, plenty of really fine goods. Really fine stuff. Marco's been searching. Marco's gonna be very, he's very tired. Um, Marco, you go to bed. 
All right, so uh, I didn't get a real taste of combat. I got a little bit of altercation. That guy's that guy starting to get upset really ruined the moment for me. But uh, this is a really interesting game. It's kind of tense, like it's just a lot of thinking and a lot of you know management, micromanagement. I'm interested. I'm glad I picked it up. And like I said, I think there's like there they donated to charity. Um, maybe the the war thing <laughs> on the fr at the very beginning of the video. So if this is interesting to you, I know it's a different kind of game. If this is interesting to you, I recommend checking it out. You know, pick it up on sale or buy it now. Um, but it's something different. I'm gonna stick with it some. So real quick, let's make some fuel. I only have one fuel. Make yourself some dinner. I'm BG Radio. I'll catch you next time.